All right, guys, so we have a project that we've been working on for the past couple of months here. I'm really excited to tell you about it. It's actually a brand new MetaPCs location. It's opening on the other side of town in Gilbert. Before we do that, I need a really cool thing built from Chris. And by that, I mean a water-cooled system. So let's go talk to him, get something put together. Chris! Yes? The new store opens in one week and I need the most badass build ever to put on display. Give me three options for cases. Uh, I think I have something for you. Three hours later. I've got some great options for you. Let's take a look here. All the kids these days love Elon Musk. I love daddy Elon too. He's a meme master extraordinaire, but this is not, this is not what I'm thinking. Less memes, more grandiose. Mm. Let me show you something a little bit more sophisticated. Something from my personal collection. This is the Aza Opus. It's a little bit too gimmicky. I want something more designer. You know what I mean? Well, I do have one thing. Oh my God, you crazy bastard. That one thing isn't the thing I'm thinking about. Oh my God, it's happening. It's happening. It's time. We're finally building in the Singularity Spectre 3. It was perfect. All right, you have a week to get it done. Uh, sure. All right, while he works on that, we're gonna go check out the new location. Let's go. Uh, we're heading to a secret location. Well, it's secret for now. We are building a new store in Gilbert, Arizona. It's where I, uh, it's where I live. It's my town. I've always wanted to open a computer store where I live. You know, it's not like the biggest dream in the world. It's the coolest, in my opinion. We have our showroom in Phoenix at our main warehouse. People seem to like that. They like coming in, configuring their PCs. We also do repair and stuff there. So we figured, why not open a second location a little bit further away in the heart of suburbia, Gilbert, Arizona. We're in the stages of tearing everything out, which if you guys have ever seen Fixer Upper with Joanna Gaines, it, they call it Demo Day, I think. Is that a very millennial thing for me to be watching is Fixer Upper? Yeah, this is, uh, this is before my time. It's before your time. <laughs> There's a wing spot here, look at this. I've never ever been drunk at Cogburn's Wings. This location is gonna be an issue. We're gonna have to exercise self-control here. All right, boys and girls, come on in. Let's see uh, the tear out, the new location. So there used to be a big ass room Room here we took that out we don't want that we want it like a wide open concept we're gonna set up a bunch of displays on this wall my idea is I want vertical and horizontal TVs so we'll have like our short form content showing here we'll have a bunch of displays like a water cooled system right when you come in that you can check out we'll have a nice waiting area here and then our tech bay slash repair area as well and then I want to show you something really cool that we built this is for Kyle my business partner this is a big surprise for him so don't spoil this is kind of cool Kyle's new office is coming along really excited about this I think he's gonna Love it and quit. And uh, yeah, this is a room. Look at the view out here. You guys are gonna love this. Finally awake. What we're gonna do with the floor too, same thing we do, or we did at our Phoenix location, epoxy. We're gonna do epoxy flooring in here, black ceiling tiles up top, got a little projector up here to, I don't know, play Cars 2 on the wall or something. Cars 2 is a movie, right? Yeah. Nice. Update number one, it's been torn out. Where will it go from here? I don't know. One of the most fun things about opening a retail store is getting the city to approve signage. It's just a freaking blast. So we're gonna have a large Meta PC sign up there with a big M and under it. And then we're gonna wrap the windows as well with a bunch of cool artwork, show off some awesome builds and stuff. The whole thing is gonna be just beautiful. Can't wait. Gilbert, approve our show. Man, that is a good looking case. So we just finished assembling it here. This is the Singularity Spectre 3 Integra Umbra. And so I had to look back just for a second to see what the Umbra exactly was. Umbra definition. The fully shaded inner region of a shadow cast by an opaque object. Umbra is the darkest of the three cases of a whole new design based on the Spectre 3 and 
So obviously a beast of a case, and on this one we opted for the front distro only, so this will change up our loop design a little bit for all of this awesome hardware we have over here. Of course we have to go super high end with it, so we've got the 7950X3D going in a Crosshair X670 motherboard here, with of course everyone's favorite 4090, and that of course is going to be water blocked with everything else inside this case. And one extra little secret for those that know, they'll know. We'll get into more of that later. Let's get into the build now. Well, Tanner, I got good news and I got bad news. The bad news is it's not even nine o'clock in Arizona and I already want to my brains out. It's like 117,000 degrees. The good news is we've made some progress. We have our electrical work done. We have literally painters in there right now getting ready to paint the beautiful walls. The, the floor has been ripped out and I think probably in the maybe couple days or so we're gonna get the new shiny, our signature floors installed. So I think the next little update will have a pretty good significant chunk of an update for you. But for now, it's just cool to see where we're at, Tanner. And with that, our 4090 is water blocked and assembled. So over here on our Singularity, it's gonna look something like that vertical mount, which reminds me, this is a limited edition case, number 29 out of 48. And we do get our own star constellation down here, which once I cover with the GPU, you can see from around the back, once it actually illuminates, pretty badass. It's 110 degrees outside. Let's, let's go in, check out an update on this Gilbert location. Guys, we've been working really hard on this build. And by we, I mean, <laughs> it's definitely not me. B guys have been working super hard hard on this build out of the new store, we have a couple things that we didn't anticipate. Cable management isn't just about PCs. We take this pretty seriously. We want to do these vertical and horizontal TVs on the wall to show some of our short form content. So with that, needing to wire up ethernet, it's running back into this server room slash cage for inventory that we had built. But everything else is going according to plan. We have all of the floors sanded down, all the glue taken up from the carpet that was here before. So it's prepped and ready to get the epoxy down on the floors. Once the epoxy's down, they'll get the tables constructed for displays. We still have black ceiling tiles we need to get up in here. We painted the ceiling as well. So all of these like cross brackets and the vents are all painted black. So it'll look really nice, be a nice contrast. And we gotta get the sign outside and we gotta get the wrap done on the window, so still a lot to do, but this is the last time you're gonna see this spot without a finished floor, which is gonna make it look completely different. These are like little details that are important that we like to think about. So even down to the paint color of the doors, red door, this is black, that's black. Why did you Why did you just do one red door? Is it just for looks? No, it's because it's easier when you're talking to customers to say, hey, bathroom, it's a red door back there. You know what I mean? So like little touches uh, really help in an environment like this. It just makes it easier to communicate. And we tried to think of like everything that we needed to do to make this the best experience for customers coming in. Something that you're gonna come in and be like, you know, I feel like this is a place where I can get an awesome PC and have a good showcase. Really put a lot of time into it. And now for the floors. Oh my God, I hope it looks dope. Alright, now we've got our crosshair board here installed and let me address the YouTube comments now. Yes, that is a RAM water block in 2024. If EK is going to make that, I'm going to install it. Alright, now it's time to get into one of my other favorite features of this case. We have this power board in the back. Now this is for distributing power from both the bottom section here from your power supply to around the top of the motherboard here so that you only have to use these really short custom cables to run your 24 pin and connect it like this. Then down at the bottom here, you're just running your main 24 pin from the power supply into the power board and it splices out wherever you need it. Super convenient. Little update here at the new Gilbert store. We've created a cardboard castle of stuff. We're just getting things set up. We spent the whole weekend here just kind of getting furniture going for the store, racks. We have these tables that are about to go in. We now have Obviously the floors were done before. Some of the horizontal TVs mounted. We'll have vertical TVs here running short form content. Services menu TV up front. Little lounge area here, like a TV. We'll have like some games and stuff people can play. We've set up the tech bay back here. We're gonna be doing repairs in this location and upgrades. So if people, you know, want 
upgrade graphics card, RAM, whatever. We can do that, upgrade the system or repairs as well. They're actually working on the signs right now on the side of the building, so that will be cool. Yeah, everything's right. coming together. It's, it's looking coming pretty together. good. We uh, we have a little theme here. It's red. Red chairs, red racks, red walls. This is the best interior design that I could come up with. Now, there is something that I'm hoping we can figure out. We need to get wraps on these windows before we open the store. So that's gonna be like the artwork on the outside of the window and stuff. I'm hoping that happens before Friday so we can open for the weekend. Yeah, everything's ready to go. We're going to be ready to go other than that. We're looking at opening pretty soon here. I'm excited to get this thing going. Hopefully you guys, if you're in the area, can stop by and check it out. And it's the next day, we're back, and this is looking very nice. We have the 4090 installed here. We can take a look at some of our cable routing, which is kept super simple in this build with that power board. So just a single 24 pin, two eight pins up top, and then just the 12 pin for the GPU, which I have yet to add right there. Pretty much all that's left now is I've mapped out the actual tubing run, so I have kind of an idea of what I'm gonna do here, but now it's just time to go and cut up some tubing. Wow. It's really here. The sign is up. The wrap on the windows is not up, but we're opening the store anyway. Screw it. Let's do it. This is going to look much different from when you last saw it. So hold on to your freaking, your freaking pants. Okay, so we're not open today, but we're very, very close. Let me show you what we've got so far. We have a menu on a TV. Very forward thinking. We also have a bunch of content running on each TV that we have set up here. And then we have our displays. This is like V1 of the displays. We still have a bunch of other systems that we need to get put out. And I'm praying Chris can finish the uh, showcase build for the grand opening because it's getting down to the wire. So prayers. These displays turned out awesome. Like I told you before, we wanted to incorporate some of the flooring into the actual uh, top of these displays as well. So we've got epoxy on the top and side, which turned out really nice. Right now we've got this water-cooled build here and the Borg cube is in the next one over. More displays, we've got laptops as well that we've got on display too. And then our repair and service area. They're gonna be pickups for either new system sales or repair pickups for customers. And then back here is the tech bay, diagnosing systems that come in, doing upgrades, things like that. We have our cage with all of our parts and stuff back here. A beautiful bathroom. Make sure you check out the bathroom, you're gonna love it. It's really cool, I don't even wanna show it, it's so cool. A lot of good smells. That's it, this is the store. It's ready. We're in Gilbert. We're on Elliott and Val Vista. If you ever find yourself in the area, if you're not from Arizona, come visit us. If you are from Arizona, make the drive. I don't care where you live, drive here. If you live in Flagstaff, drive here. Tucson, drive here. If you live in California, don't you dare drive here. So there we have it. We have our singularity filled with the blood red coolant and I think this looks beautiful. Very, very cool looking design. I'm definitely glad I went with more of an angular design here for the tubing. That way it matches some of the other case aesthetics we have here. Again, most of this case is all super geometric, all 45s, all angles, so it all flows together very nicely. And with that said, this build is just about complete. So now I just need to get this quickly QC'd. That way it can be picked up and taken over to our new location down in Gilbert. Three hours later. Chris, where is it? Where's the build? What's going on? I already sent it to the other store. What? We gotta go! Oh God, we better go to the store. I hope the PC is there. Suspenseful. Okay, okay, we gotta, I hope it's, it's gotta, I hope it's here. Let's go, come on, come on, hurry, hurry. Oh God, I didn't close my door. All right, let's go. Camera guys in first, camera guys in first. <gasps> Oh my God, it's the most beautiful, not turned on PC that I've seen in my entire life. Hey Chris, say things about this computer. Oh, some things about this computer. Uh, let's see, we got the uh, the Spectre 3 here, custom water cooled. This is a uh, limited edition Spectre with a lot of really cool like 45 degree line work going on. Took some inspiration from that and a lot of the tubes follow that same 45 degree angle. Just a Fill in the case, mix it up a little bit from our usual, just point A to point B, simple, short, clean runs. I think it turned out great. Now I have some lore. Originally I bought this to be my PC, but I decided selflessly that we would sell it to one of our customers instead. As I look at this, I'm like, wow, this would have been really cool to have for myself. And uh, 
now I won't have it. While it's cool, I also want to kill my <laughs> All right, Chris, how fast do you think this thing's gonna sell? Uh, this thing's a beauty. I really hope it sells quick enough that we can buy the Spectre 4. I'm going to guess one week. Here's my favorite thing about this build. I love the case. I love the water cooling. But what I love more than anything is I love the bends. It's not like straight line. It's not crazy straw bends that we see in no some silly builds. Straws in here. No silly straws. This is beautiful. In fact, I see some stuff like passing behind things and mm -hmm. just run me through these bends because it's very intricate. Like I mentioned, this is not like my traditional loop style. You Usually it's more just straight linear pointy to point B. We had to do some weird, uh, very tight 45 degree bends here on a few of these tubes, which is possible just very, very carefully. Some other weird nuanced things, we have a tube that has to do this very large like triangle shape here on an offset. That way it can actually stay kind of parallel with the rest of the tubes here. Little details that almost nobody will ever notice. And also the water-cooled ram, that's something that we don't do that often because, well, it's not like a huge performance boost at all, right? Mostly aesthetics. And I mean, it gives us a reason to do more tubes, fill in the space, and what's not to love about some water cooled memory. It just looks cool. Guys, thanks so much for watching. This has been a beautiful build. You did a great job, Thank Chris. You. That's awesome. I love it. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment, and uh, we'll see you next time here on the Meta PCs channel. Mm -hmm. Look at this. What a cool PC. You should buy it.